So one of the many questions I see regarding Cyberpunk 2077 is, is what role does Keanu Reeves play? What's the backstory of his character? And well, that's what we find out today. The story of Johnny Silverhand, aka Keanu Reeves, aka John Wick, aka Absolute Legend. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also people, I am giving away two copies on every platform of this game. To be with a chance of winning one for yourself or a friend, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So today we get into the lore of Johnny Silverhand. And while well, it's quite lengthy so you may just want to put your legs up. And also thanks to the many sources of information on the internet like fandom and the cyberpunk wiki. So a quick overview of Johnny. Johnny Silverhand, originally born as Robert John Under is a man everyone in America knows about, an ex-US military veteran who made the rocker boy movement to what it is today. He was the lead singer of the band Samurai and one of the most prominent figures that fought against the corporations, more so than any corp. Johnny hates Arazaka and wishes to burn them to the ground for what they did to his girlfriend, which may or may have not been his fault. He's charismatic and quite the charmer. However, Johnny is also known to be irrational, impulsive and a manipulator. Johnny has a temper and seems to always be on edge, mostly due to the history in this Central American conflict. His dedication and ambitions are what kept him going, but at the end of the day, he doesn't care for anything else but seeing Arzaka burn and his girlfriend freed. In 2077, Johnny is still as ambitious as ever. He has his own agenda he wants to accomplish and plans to use V to get it. V is a character you will be playing in the game by the way people. And it's up to us whether Johnny is to be trusted or not. So yeah, and although it's still not confirmed the exact role he will play in terms of his relationship to V, it's interesting to know that he's somehow within our head and we see holograms of him via various gameplay instances. So let's check out Johnny's biography starting in the 1990s. Robert John Under enlisted into the US military young and it didn't take long to see some action. The Central American conflict started in 1990. It was a bloodbath ran by a corrupt and manipulative government. But when their secrets were exposed, many of the American soldiers dropped their red, white and blue weapons. Instead, they fought back by deserting the military. The government used its power to create powerful propaganda to make the public hate deserters. But Johnny wouldn't fight a corrupt war, so he went back home to Night City and began his life anew. The military had changed his life forever and he even changed his name to Johnny Silverhand. His last name would represent the cybernetic arm that replaced the arm he lost during war. His every movement would remind him of his mission, rebellion. In the 2000s, his rebellion came in the form of a band called Samurai. Johnny started this band with Kerry Urodyne, originally only playing in backstreet clubs. This was until a producer named Jack Masters discovered them and signed them up. Samurai was a band made up of these members. Johnny Silverhand, Kerry Urodyne, Denny, Nancy or Bess Isis and Henry. His music was revolutionary and the world loved him. He rose to the top of the charts in record time with his band, but Samurai couldn't last forever. Their keyboard player Nancy was in an abusive relationship at the time. When she couldn't take it anymore, she pushed her abusive boyfriend out of a window and was taken to prison. And without her, Samurai split up in 2008. Johnny Silverhand was still one of the most popular musicians at the time. He planned to use his star power to begin a solo career and continue to push his anti-corporation and anti-government messages. DBS Music wanted to sign him so desperately that they threatened him and even blackmailed him, threatening to reveal his true identity, that he was a deserter. Instead, Johnny Silverhand signed with Universal Music and released an entire album called Sins of Your Brothers Admitting That He Was A Deserter and revealing all the terrible things the government ordered. The album was widely successful and changed public perception on what it meant to be a deserter and Johnny Silverhand was not even at the height of his career yet. In 2013, everything changed for Johnny. He was on a walk with his girlfriend, Alt Cunningham, 
when she was suddenly kidnapped by Fox, working for the mega corporation Arazaka. They wanted to use Ork Cunningham for her incredible talent as a programmer. They wanted her to develop a software called the Soul Killer that would be able to download any Netrunner's mind. It was a dangerous software that would have killed anyone whose brain they wanted to download. Johnny made a plan that required precise timing. He gathered a strike team to infiltrate the Arizaka offices so that he could save Alt. On top of that, he called in a favour from all the members of his old band. Samurai gathered together and performed an entirely free show. The show was right in front of the Arizaka Tower in Night City. The strike team made it there just moments too late. Cunningham was dead. However, while her body was left as a husk, her mind became trapped inside of Arizaka's mainframe, and Johnny planned to get it back. And well, in 2020, when he was last seen, Johnny, alongside Rogue and Morgan Blackhand, led an assault on the Arizaka HQ in Night City with the intention of ending the Fourth Corporate War. He went to find Cunningham, but there were more than a few obstacles in the way. The biggest obstacle was Borg, Adam Smasher, a man who was now more machine than flesh. Legend has it, Adam Smasher gunned down Silverhand with a rifle. His body was never found though, because Militech, a company fighting against Arizaka, launched their attack at the same time. They dropped a bomb on the Arizaka building, and there was nothing left to find. So his legacy, well ever since he disappeared, people have mourned Johnny Silverhand. There's graffiti all throughout Night City that simply says, where's Johnny? Even decades later, people hold out that Johnny Silverhand is somewhere out there, ready to raise some hell and lead the revolution. So you are wondering how or what role is Johnny Silverhand playing within this game? Well it has been confirmed, Silverhand acts as V's guide to the city and well will be with her or him depending on who you choose for most of the game. Throughout the game the player will be haunted by a digital ghost of Silverhand, suggesting that he is physically dead. The full gameplay scope of Silverhand's involvement with the character is not fully known yet, but he will make comments on the player's actions through voiceover and will occasionally appear in the game as a hologram. Figuring out the mystery of Johnny Silverhand's digital ghost is a large part of the main plot line. And while even after that people the question still remains, is he dead or alive? I feel within the end of Cyberpunk's campaign we will find out, but it's gonna be good people. But yeah guys that's basically the backstory to Johnny Silverhand aka Keanu Reeves aka Robert John Under. So if you've ever watched a trailer and you've seen Keanu Reeves and you're wondering what role he plays within this game, this is his role. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.